first of all, I'd like to say I'm blaming this completely on a uh, Jess Carve Rob. So there is a Jess Carve Rob gnome that he carved with his Dremel. Got his little feet there. Perfect little gnome. See his arms down there? I've never really uh, carved a gnome with like full legs and uh, like kind of realistic gnome arms, I guess you could call them. So anyways, Rob, just carve Rob. Yep, there it goes. So we're going to call this, um, here's uh, my uh, chainsaw sharpen tool here that I use with a diamond bit, Dremel. Um, normally, when you see me sharpen it, you see the chain bouncing all over the place. It's because I'm filming with one hand and doing, trying to show you guys with the other hand. So normally I have it locked down and the chain doesn't wiggle around when I'm doing it. But um, yeah, so we'll call this um, gnome that um, I wasn't even going to edit this video, but I just don't care. Right? It was a, it was a learning curve. And uh, I'll get it better next time. Each one you do, the better you're going to get. And anybody can do this kind of curving here. If you have a chainsaw, there's my uh, just a 170 with a stock bar. Um, my Echo 2511 with a quarter inch um, carving bar, tips quarter inch or toonie. And my uh, 193 with a still 12 inch carving bar on there. Yep. So, um, this is going to be a voiceover, this basically whole video. There's my. Uh, 0340 or something like that 034 here's a piece of western red cedar but you guys look see that crack you can see a crack in the middle there so there's a big crack on the outside because this is a piece of hope from hope mudslide so the wood ripped when it got uh, ripped out of the ground so that crack i didn't know if it went all the way through but you'll see in the video what happens with that so there's the back then i put a b and an f so that's going to be the back and that's going to be the front over there on the other side of the on the top part of the screen there and yep what I'm gonna do is start carving here well first of all I forgot that I had my uh, jack stand that I bought so this is the old way carving fusion used to do it well me Jordy at carving fusion yep there's the back breaker it's not that heavy it's actually a pretty light piece of western red cedar um, so what I'm doing here is just marking out because I want this uh, hat the gnome's hat to uh, curl over. I normally just do them straight up and down like little pointy hats, but I want to try and make this one different. Like I want to learn when I'm doing this. And uh, so there's basic drawing the, the bottom brim of the cap on. I've been struggling lately. Like for the last month, my body's been super sore. Like I've had a uh, uh, sore lower back. I think it was my hip or something like that, but um, now it's just, I, I'm just, once or twice a year I get tired of, sick and tired of carving wood spirits, so I want to try carving other things. It happens. So there's, um, see that's how I'm going to cut it. I'm going to taper that off. So it looks like a gnome hat, right? Take all that wood out there. And you can see here, that's where I'm going to, I'm going to cut it straight there so I can have a little, his top part of his hat bends over like I showed you on just carve right there you go see how Rob's is bent over like that so but I did it wrong I could have did it um, another way but anyways this is just a uh, chainsaw bar oil I get at Walmart I think it's like 12 bucks that's all I really use I do use card oil oil too but um, I think honestly the better the better bar oil is the normal chainsaw bar oil opinion but like I said I use them both anyways there's just oiling up so I'm gonna start cutting here and um, this saw is dull kind of sharp dull sharp dull dull sharp I should have stopped and sharpened it a bit better but whatever it is what it is I just went carving today to get out of the house I, I was actually gonna take a week off carving but I'm like, why do I want to take a week off carving? I just took two months off carving. So, like I was saying, I'm at the point right now where I'm sick and tired of carving wood spirits. But it might not be in sick of sick and tired of carving wood spirits. I just got, it's not no motivation. I just, I guess, well, I guess it is. I'm just kind of sick of tired of carving wood spirits. And I want to carve more uh, three-dimensional things. So, 
and I don't want to carve a bear. I will not carve a bar bear. I want to die saying Jordy Johnson's the only wood carver, chainsaw carver that has never carved a bear. I want that title. So anyway, in a second here, you'll see. Uh, pardon my language coming up, but uh, you'll see what happens. So look how slow my saw is cutting now. Now it's cutting super slow. I'll show you why. Okay, there's some little slice cuts coming up here. Uh, they'd be called that would be called like a wedge cut. <laughs> but yeah, so are you enjoying the music? Okay, well, let's do one more little wedge cut here. Try and get the square edges gone. See how slow it's cutting? It's not even really cutting anymore. So when you need to sharpen your chainsaw. I should just be fling taking it right off. It's such a thin piece. Look at it. Look at it. It's not even cutting. I should have stopped. Stop, stop, stop. Sharpen my saw. Then all of a sudden, pretty soon here, I'm going to realize what happened. Cutting through that crack. You'll see. But yeah, like 100% for all you beginning chainsaw carvers. Stop. If you think your saw is dull, it's dull. Sharpen it. Look here, look at that, that's a rock, I hit a rock, yep, that will dull your uh, saw pretty damn quick. You can see all the mud in there. Ah, fuck. Fuck. Mic check, mic check. Okay, so you can see there the crack. See how it, uh, there's all the mud and stuff and sand right there and rocks and whatever. See the crack goes way up there. So it's just totally putting a, a kick into the curving that I want to do. It's just making me adjust everything. But you just need to do it and you just need to move on, right? So... Here we got, uh, look at all the mess down there. Just nothing but a waste of, well, I'm learning, so I can't call it a waste of time. So all the way there, you see the sap wood, water wood, and I've tried to remove most of that, and the inside's the heartwood. So it's good that uh, all the cracks are gone anyways. I should have just done it at the very beginning. Just, just get it done with, right? There's his nose, so I'm gonna make a straight cut in, and then his hat, his beard, his boots down there. Um, you see here just carve Rob's got shoulders on his so you have to take the beard in thinner to the nose so you can make the shoulders pop out um, so here's just car see just car Rob guys got shoulders so here's a super time lapse I can carve a basic gnome no problem basically with my eyes closed but it's time to start uh, upgrading and doing challenging myself you always got to challenge yourself. Keep pushing forward, right? Coffee, you always got to have your coffee. There's my there's my stuff. Don't know why I'm showing it, but um, oh boy. Oh boy. What is this? What do we got here? Look at those midget arms. This guy's got midget, midget arms. Look at him. Yeah, I just... Uh, I, well, there's, I, I don't know. <laughs> he's got hair, so he's like a he's like a rock band. That looks like a toque. Uh, yeah. So look, there's his fingers. See, fingers are fingers. But if you look here, I pushed his thumb back. The opposite. His thumb needs to be in the front. If you look at your hand, the thumb would be facing the front. So, anyways. 
Yep, that's, I'm going to cut those arms off tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, here's a die grinder that I'm going to be using with the cuts all bit. Super time lapse, just get this thing done. But look at those arms. The, it's pretty good. Like, it's not a bad thing right now. It's okay. It's like, it's just me learning new things. So next time uh, I'll probably, look how short his arms are. It just cracks me up seeing that. Uh, I wasn't even going to edit this video and public, publish it, but who cares, right? Like, just, you can see what it is. You know, maybe I'll, I could make his beard shorter and cut his boots off and stuff, but I think I'm best just cutting off. Gnomes don't need to have arms. Okay. So, I could have done three nice sized wood spares by the time amount this took me to do. It's because I'm just learning it. This is a full 360 carving. I want to get more full 360 carvings when I feel like it. So, this is all your fault, just carved Rob. Look at this silly little hands. You try and show me what a gnome hand looks like. Gnome fingers, okay? They're, they look like gnome fingers to me, so that's good enough. This, this guy's got long hair. Yeah, so he's an old uh, headbanger gnome. And uh, there it is. This is a simple, absolutely 1,000% unfun carve. It was, uh, it, was, it was fun once I started uh, getting into it. But at the beginning, uh, friggin' wood was just such a piece of junk, and that's my own fault. You know, really inspect your wood before you get into a car. And I saw all those cracks on there. I should have just wedged it out and got rid of it right away. So this guy turned out, oh yeah, I got to sign my piece. So I think he's he's silly. That's what it is. It's just a silly, silly, complete waste of time. Yeah, that's about what it is. Anyways, thanks a lot. Uh, happy Sunday. And damn you, Jess Card Rob. This guy is completely your fault. Um, yeah, there it is. Just a silly and dumb Dairy Queen hat gnome. It's a bad Dairy Queen hat. Dun, 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 dun. Happy Sunday! If I edit this video. I got it off the uh, piece of wood, so I thought I'd just give you guys a close up. So there's his Dairy Queen hat. Even his hat was a challenge. A big piece busted off here. I wanted it to come down more. You know, these, uh, if you guys want to start carving gnomes, they're really simple to do. Instead of having to carve eyes, you know, there's no eyes on this guy. Look at his silly little hands. Don't they look like gnome fingers? There's his boots. His long hippie hair. Sawdust in there. Yeah, this guy's got a big head. Because I just keep on learning, you know, once it, once I get better at these things, I'll be able to carve them in an hour. This thing took me about three hours to do, believe it or not. Anyways, that's it. There he is. See you for sure this time. Okay, bye.